I'm a migrant myself. I came to Sweden from Estonia during the Second World War together with my parents. Today we have a lot of refugees also that are coming. Some are asylum seekers coming from uh, uh, awful situation on, on uh, war uh, uh, regions. Others are coming to find a better life uh, in a place where they want to, to raise their kids and, and be part of, of Europe, be part of Sweden, be part of the city of Malmö. And of course uh, you can see that Europe and uh, Sweden and uh, Malmö needs a lot of migrants. We are an aging population. So today we, we have very, very much discussion about uh, this as a sort of, of a problem challenge. But also we must see the possibilities that are embedded in this. And of course that raises the question on what way are we handling this? You can see that we have of course lots to do there. If you are looking on the asylum seekers, those that are coming from, uh, from the collapse in Syria, those that are coming from, from North Africa, there of course there are so many people that are coming, so that cannot be taken care of by one country or a few cities. That must be, be a lot of cities. And the special thing is when you are coming in the beginning, the first two, three years, there where we need lots of cities, lots of, of countries to be part, after that period, I think then these persons that are European, they are looking for where they want to live and what sort of job they want to do. You know, these are not people that are coming with no knowledge. They are, they are carpenters, they are, are nurses, they are doctors, they are, they are specialists in different ways. So we shouldn't look upon them as a sort of uh, migrants that are coming. Try to see what they are what skills they have and see how we can use that in a better way in, in our countries, in our cities.